and I'm back. After a week hiatus, I miss you guys. Welcome to the show. This is your daily rundown on Heat Life. Heat Life. Heat Life. It's happy hour. Alita Battle Angel, Robert Rodriguez, and James mm -hmm. Cameron are talking about mm -hmm. going back to that well because if you watch the movie, it leaves off on a cliffhanger similar to Dune, yes. right? Where it's just like, uh, clearly more needs to happen here, but we're just <laughs> stopping at this point, even though it's been three hours already, there's still more to tell. So apparently what's going on is you might remember that on this past episode or sorry past season of mandalorian uh mm -hmm. Rob, robert rodriguez directed an episode and it was that crazy action scene out in the uh you know the canyons with people f jumping and flipping and all oh, sorts yeah. of stuff mm -hmm. it, was the it one felt where... like a rodriguez scene it did, oh, yeah. it, did. Yeah. It, yeah. it felt it like it, it felt like it his did. episode i was like oh yeah that's him that's him yeah, that's him. yeah, yeah. A signature move a signature move <laughs> right right uh prior to that though you know he was doing a lot of virtual production pioneering a lot of the stuff with the spy kids movie and with sin city mm -hmm. so he's yes. got like this big portfolio behind him and then you know uh james cameron uh, battle angel Lita was his uh baby for the longest time like alongside avatar but then for whatever reason cameron because he was under the marianas trench couldn't direct alita himself so he yeah. handed that off to robert rodriguez and so when uh john favreau saw battle angel alita he was like i think uh, we can use him for our virtual production on the mandalorian which is how he got signed up so as it turns out we know that Hawkeye is ending next week because mm, Disney Plus yes. never ends. They've got Book of uh, Boba Fett coming up. And Robert Rodriguez is directing, let me see what it says, three of the seven episodes. Oh, so they're really just yeah. trying to like go for it. Like They're going for it, baby. Oh, that's and, uh, really I guess ballsy things together. by Disney. Not the story bad. is they're not, huh. he's not going to get on Battle Angel Alita until he finishes this. But if I'm not mistaken, Battle Angel Alita is a Fox film, which means it's a Disney film now. I think that's right. Yes, that's technically correct. Yeah. All right. Uh, I didn't know that. So, so uh, hearing okay. this makes me more interested because I'm not a Boba Fett fan, but then I am a Robert Rodriguez fan. If he's bringing mm -hmm. his energy, his Absolutely. action, then uh, I'm yeah. down for that. I'll say this about Rodriguez: if you're not if you're not familiar with his work, you won't be bored. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'll, say, I'll say, I'll not say that all. about his work. Regardless of how you feel, I think he's a brilliant director because he takes risks and he's not afraid to put himself out there. Um, they don't always land. He doesn't always stick to landing, but you can't get good unless you take risks. You will and, that's be why I, and that's why I respect him. Yeah, you will, you will be entertained. So at least I know now that at least a part of at least a third of Bubba Fett is going to be highly entertaining because those are like nine episodes. It's yeah. seven. 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 Oh, is seven? seven? And you, and you said he's nine? doing three? Three. It's nearly half of them. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's, gonna that's, be, gonna, that's a lot of episodes to episodes. set the tone. Yeah, especially if he comes out the gates, that's going to no, really set I the hope tone. I the first one and everybody's like, what was that I just watched? <laughs> Star Wars has never done that. Star Wars has never done that. I've never had a close-up like that of a character and then get shot yeah. in the face by Boba Fett. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we want to see. I don't know. See that oh, that they're they're R rating this pounding thing? in the guy that's yellow and all the yellow oh. blood going everywhere. We want to see that with Boba Fett. It's a callback to Sin City. We need a callback to yeah, Sin City, which is so good. Does it? It still holds a little bit. It, it still does, holds it a little does, bit. It does. Yeah, Both it still those holds. Hold up. Yeah, yeah. Shocking. It while. It's yeah. so the, yo, the test of time is so tough. It's so difficult. The only thing that knows is how, how, yeah. how cartoony the CG looks, but it fits that movie. Well, I mean, this is a person stylized. that did Spy Kids and Spy Kids. If you're going, if you if, if a little bit of hokiness is going to unravel you, then I don't Hold watch on. Spy Kids, Sp even though Spy Kids is really good for what it is. It's good for its lane. Hey, I'll say two that. children directed <laughs> that movie. Two children they directed wrote and wrote that movie. Yeah. Yeah. He let them direct it too. Apparently, he sat there and said, "What hmm. decision y'all want to make?" They're like, "We want to do this, yeah. Dad." All right, that's yeah. what we're going to do. And it feels like it, but it's still yeah. interesting. And it's still you're you're like, movie. "What am I watching? And why haven't I turned this off?" <laughs> Have you seen the new movies that's, that's, where all the kids of the magic. superheroes what come together? Shark Boy and Lava yeah. Girl. Yeah. No, that's the second. Yeah, no. Shark Boy and Lava Girls got two parts. No, they got a third one. Yeah, the third one. I because just it's the Shark Boy and Lava Girl one and two, up. and then they got they the third up. one when they are adults. Yeah. 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 And it's yeah, and the, still and the new kids. Oh, one of them, the girl was on Dancing with the Stars, and she was uh, yeah. grown and married. 